What's up guys, Footberg here and today we are in 7 heaven. I have got for you 7 trading methods. Let's jump over straight into it. So guys, the first filter we are going to look at today is for the Turkish League, the Super League. And uh, it is going to be quality silver. You want to go over to the pricing. You want to set max price to 15 million. Uh, and then you just drop down a thousand coins when you want to reset your filter. And then also you want to set your max buy now at 300 coins. So what we're going to do, we're going to start off a little search here. And basically what I look to do with this, I want to avoid the goalkeepers. Now you are basically learning on the job. So what I'll do is I'll go to the 60th minute basically and you can pretty much buy everything so i'm just going to buy all of these players and i'm just going to go through with you what you can do so let's just snap up a couple of these players i would try to avoid goalkeepers to be honest unless you do get them for 200 coins but uh right we're going to assign now with them so we've picked them up dirt cheap uh as cheap as you like and even if you were to sell these at 350 coins you're still making profit now what i need to get across here is this is a trading method and a lot of these trading methods are for people with a very low coin balance so for someone who sat there with a million coins this isn't for you this specific bit there will be another little bit in the video that will be for you but say for instance this guy fatty if you go through the cheapest that we're seeing is around 500 coins i reckon if we list him up for 500 coins we only bought him for 300 it's got 170 coin profit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to list him up for 500 coins and we'll see if he sells. And then we've got this uh, Kilnick, bought him for 250. Um, he's only selling, I'd say 350. So we're only going to make 70 coin profit. But as you can see, there were so many cards on the market. And if you just keep refreshing your feed, you're going to get so many. Now you can imagine but 70 coin profit here and there, 10 cards is 700 coin profit. And then if you end up picking up a card for say 200 coins, I've picked up cards doing this that have been 200 coins and they've sold for 900. So there's 700 coin profit. This is all about just building that coin balance up. You want to start low and then once your coin balance starts going up and up, that's when you can bring in other methods. Now we've got this guy here bought for 250. Let's have a little flick through. Again, probably we're only going to get 350 for him. But uh, I'm just going to list him up for 300, get my coins back. This guy, 250 coins. So he's looking a little bit better. He's got 500. So I'll list him for 500. I reckon he'd sell. And then we're looking at 200 coin profit. And then last but not least, this guy, 300 coins we've paid for him. The cheapest on the market there. I reckon you're going to be lucky. To sell him for 350 which i will but it still gets me about 30 coins and then all you can do is you can go on the uh, 59th minute you can press square circle square circle and it refreshes your thing now that's um this guy i know he sells for a little bit more i, I think i did this yesterday i did some of this trading in my recent rtr series um last night i think he was selling it a little bit more but i still think i can get uh, 500 coins for him but that is the first little filter it's Turkish silvers I know this is not groundbreaking stuff this specific filter is for people with very low coins keep that in mind let's jump over into filter number two so filter number two exactly the same principle but we're going to drop it down to max buy now at 200 coins and also we're going over to the MLS so I'm just going to research the filter there and we're going to go over here and we're going to see what is on the market now, straight away, there is absolutely loads of cards on there for 200 coins. So what you ideally want to do is you want to jump over to the 59th minute and you're going to have to do a little bit of learning on the job. So say, for instance, you compare the price for a player here. He's at 200 coins. Now, he's only selling at 250. So you might want to jump to somebody else. Now, look at this guy. Compare price, 200 coins. You've already got a bid on him there, 350. Now, it's not the best. But if I pick him up for 200 coins, sell him for 350 on buy now, that's 130 coin profit. Same principle as the uh, the silver cards. It is just, you can absolutely mass buy these cards and mass list them. So there is absolutely no problem. Say you've got 20k, go and get 100 cards at 200 coins. Fill a transfer list up of 100 players. Come back after an hour, see how many you've sold and see how many coins you've got back. 
So I'd love to be able to do an example of this if I had a clear transfer list. Um, if you've got 20,000 coins exactly, say, you've got 100 free list, 100 free spots. If you can go and buy 100 cards at 200 coins, that is your 20k gone. That means then come back after the hour and I'd love to see how many of them 20 coins you recoup off the bat. But that is the second filter, it's MLS. And don't forget, you can go to the 59 minute, press square circle, and then say so for instance, they will just compare his price. Again, it's not much, but you'd still make 100 coins here and there. This guy, Acosta, he might be worth a little bit more. 600, the cheapest, 400. Now, it's not the best, it's not the worst. It is a filter. At the end of the day, you can make mad coins at some point because you could go square circle, square circle and an expensive silver can pop up for 200 coins. And that's when you start making an extra chunk of coins. So say for instance here, compare price. Now this one looks a little bit better. 800 coins. So there we go. If I was to just pick him up, unless he's been bought, there we go. So I can sell him for 800 coins now and um, I can sell him for 800 coins. That is 570 coin profit. So it takes a little bit of time, but it's another a good little uh, filter. Let's jump over into number three. So filter number three is the Leonos Silver and we're going up to 400 coins. So we're going to uh, start that. Now there's going to be, this is basically buy anything. Anything that pops up at 400 coins, buy it. Now that goalkeeper was there for five minutes, obviously. You saw that. He's probably only going to sell for 450. But no matter what, because he was the only player on the market at that 400 coins, you will be able to sell him and you're never ever going to lose coins in that method. Now I think the cheapest that I saw was 450. So if I list him up for 450, I know he'll sell and I haven't lost coins. That is the main point to make here. So here we go. Let's just buy these. See, you can see other people are doing this. See, you can see other people are doing this. And if you get to a stage like this, press square, circle, and it will refresh. Now, there we go. We've got him. Let's try and do it with a couple and see how many. Uh, there we go. 350 coins. You can see other people are doing this. This is a very, very good filter. I'm just going to do it until we get one more. Square, circle, left wing, 400 coins assigned now. Let's have a look at what those were worth. So, we've got this guy for 300 coins. So let's go and have a look at what the cheapest on the market for him is. You're looking at 550. Um, I reckon if we just list him up for 500, we're still making 180 coin profit on him. And then Moreno, we bought for 400 coins. What's he selling for? So you're looking at, say, 500 coins. So that's not great. So he wasn't a, uh, a great pickup. So we know if ever we see Moreno again at 400 coins, probably not worth our time. And then this guy being a goalkeeper, he's probably not going to go for that much. Um, I'll list him up for 500 coins. Still, we have lost no coins. That is the main part of doing this. If you're filling up your trade pile, you're never going to lose coins. So that is um, number three. We're going to jump over into number four now. Um, and this will be for people with a few more coins. So guys, for this method, I found a perfect example here. We can see a Koscielny up on the market and he's currently 22,000 coins, as you can see on my screen. Whereas Footbin is telling me he's selling for 31K. So we're going to go and put a bid in. And the aim of this method um, is to win things on bid whilst you're using Footbin. Um, so Footbin is going to tell me what he's actually selling for. Now this 29,750 that I've highlighted is an undercut. His actual sell price will be 31,500. So while I put a bid in here, if I click on this little calculator, if I was to sell him at say 31,000 coins to get the to get the sale, I would take home 29 that 29 and a half k. So I am happy to bid up to say 25k because I know I'm going to take 4.5k profit there. So let's see, the, half, the, the, the least profit I'm happy to take is 3k. So I will bid up to 26.5. So let's just go to 26.5. This would be my highest point. If I get outbid, I don't want to bid anymore because then I'm just eating into my profit. So this guy's bid up to 27.5. It makes it a little bit pointless for our time now. 
But I jumped in here to this uh, to this part quickly. This is number four. You can see on the screen that I've got foot bin open. I've got the PlayStation. Um, so the filter for this is going to be special, and then it's max price fifty thousand, max buy now sixty thousand. You can put the max buy now up to around seventy five, eighty thousand. But basically, you want to go into the filter. Um, you don't really want to be looking at informs. Uh, or the blue cards, you want to try and find the special cards like the um, one to watches or the shape shifters or the winter refreshes. Let's have a look at that Bernat and see if he's on open bid. He's not. So let's have a little flick through and see. Uh, right, Van Arnholt, let's have a look here. Patrick Van Arnholt, he is selling here at 37,000 coins. Right, we're going to finally have a look at something here. So I'm just going to jump in straight away with a 25k bid. We're going to go for this one. We're going to go for it. Now, 38,000 coins, right? So if I go up here and I type in 38,000, I know I would take home 36,000. I would be happy with a 4k profit, which means I would bid up to 32,000. So let's try and just shock the competition and bid 30k and hope. Just hope. So no, but we're going to bid up to 32k because I know that if I sell it for 38k, I take home 36. So I would be happy with that. See, people are people are just people are smashing the bids in now. We go for see. It's just see. It's just getting out of hand now. I know if I sold for 38k, I'm not going to get anything. So this is another one that's got away from us. So the search goes on. Here we go. What have we got here? We've got a Cabrera. 86 rated. What's he selling for? He's selling for 19k. So if I was to pick him up for 16,250 and sell him for 19,000, I'd take home 18k. So let's have a little go. If we can pick him up for 16,250 and sell him for 19, we would make 2,000 coins profit. Please, God, let this work because this has been a nightmare trying to get a, uh, an example for this video. So we've got 10 seconds. Come on, 10, 9. So it's a fairly easy method. Um, it's very good to do when there is pack supply. So there we go. We have won that one at 16.250. So we're going to back out. We're going to go to the... Um, transfer list and we're going to list him up at 19,250. 19, so if I'm to list him up at 19,250 it shows we're going to take home 18,288. I bought him for 16,250 which gives me 2,000 coin profit. So let's list him up for that. There we go. That would be a 2,000 coin profit. Now I know that has taken a ridiculously long time for me to get that one card, but it's Sunday, three o'clock in the afternoon. There's no pack supply at the minute. When there's pack supply and people start listing their cards, that's when this is more interesting to, to do because there's more cards you can bid on. But uh, that is uh, method number four. So number five is good old BPM. It wouldn't be a video of mine if I didn't chuck BPM, but this time, if you're looking to make coins, uh, these are methods to make coins, sell everything. Um, I say everything, it isn't quite everything because you're not going to sell contracts, manager contracts or any of this rubbish. You're not going to sell that. These you are going to list up and then any of these players you're going to list up. So straight away from that pack, I get a DC United centre back. He's selling at what? Probably get like eight, 900, 800 coins for him. Pushing a thousand coins. So that pays for the pack and another. And then I also got this Chili player. And uh, he is selling for around about 800 coins. So straight away, you'll see that you buy a pack, sell everything in it. You're going to make so many coins. With Brom pack, 400 coins. You only need to sell the three players for 150 coins in a bronze pack. And you are in profit. It's as simple as that. That is number five. I don't need to stay on this any longer. Bronze packs, open them, sell them, done. So guys, number six on the list of seven is going to be kits and badges. Now, kits and badges, um, quite a few of the gold kits sell at a nice price, the likes of Liverpool, 
uh, Manchester United, the Chelsea home kit, uh, and there's quite a few silver kits that sell, as you can see on the screen here. You've got the China, uh, I know the New Zealand kit sells at 5K, uh, and then you've got some really nice badges that sell as well. You've got the likes of the New York Red Bulls, as you can see on screen. In the description below, I'm gonna write a list of kits and badges that do sell, um, so you can take a look at them. But during pack supply, especially when you get like um, a mega pack um, or packs of that ilk, rare mega packs, that's when you want to look at um, buying these. So we go over to club items, kits, and go to league, and we're gonna say, go to Liverpool and have a look. Now, I haven't done this for a while, I used to look at Liverpool kits under 1,800 coins and I know that they would sell for around 2,800. So I'd make 1,000 coins per kit. I'm not 100% sure um, what they are at the moment. I haven't looked at it for a while. So we're both going to be going in this together. But something I want to add with this method. Say there was a big game in real life. Now I know obviously with coronavirus we're not having any games at the moment. But when Liverpool played Watford and Watford beat Liverpool, ending the unbeaten run, Watford's kit went up to four and a half K. So when there's a real life event, have a little look around the real life event. Don't just think about players, think about the kits as well. Uh, also, when Real Madrid played Barcelona, uh, Real Madrid won. Now, we've got 1,600 coins for a kit there. Now, I'm just going to buy it. Uh, I've got absolutely no idea if these are good buys, but I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk it. Because we've only seen two so far, and we're up at the 54th minute. A thousand coins. Now, I know that's a good deal. And you can see how, like, they're on the market for a fair while before I buy them. So here we go. More Liverpool kits. Let's see what the other one is as well. I'm going to buy them. I'm going to buy them, and I'm going to list them up. Because now... Every single kit on the market under 1,800 coins, I own it. So I can go and list them all up. Uh, I don't actually know what my transfer list space is saying though, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna list them all up for 2,500 and I'll make profit on every single one of them. But like I was just saying with Real Madrid and Barcelona, when Real Madrid went and beat Barcelona, the Real Madrid kit actually went up to about 4K as well. So when there's big grudge matches in real life, Keep a little eye on the things like the kits and the badges because they do fluctuate in price as well. People might be Real Madrid fans or fans of Spanish football. They might want to go out and play FIFA in the Real Madrid kit after Real Madrid just beat Barcelona or after Watford beat Liverpool. So keep an eye on things like that. But like I said in the description, I'll drop a list of kits and badges that do sell. So let's jump over to number seven and the final in our list of seven trading methods. So guys, we have reached seven heaven. This is the last of the filters and it's just basically some easy ones. You're gonna look at the Premier League, any player, 400 coins max bid. Now all you're gonna do is buy anything that appears. Now I've missed that one, but this is, it requires more patience because you're basically sitting here sniping. Um, so here we go. I, I know I've missed that because I've me messed about with it. We're gonna go back in and try it again. My fingers completely slipped. We've missed it, okay? But we've missed it, for God's sake. For the video purposes, I wanna really delete this clip and start again, but I'll probably leave it in so you can have a little laugh. I am not the best at sniping. Let's just try and get... See, we missed that as well, okay? I'm not very good at sniping, you might be good at sniping, but the case still stands. 400 coins, Premier League. Next, we're going to go over to France. 400 coins, I think there'll be quite a few on the market of 400 coins there is. So with this one, you want to jump over to the 59th minute and you want to do the same as you did with some previous methods. You want to go and compare price and have a look around what they're selling for. I would probably say any card that you can pick up, you will probably be able to list them up for 500 coins and sell them. So um, the good thing with this, you can go to the 59th minute, square circle, square circle. If something nice pops up, say for instance, it's got a gold card there. I'm going to pick him up. I, could, I reckon I could probably list him up for 500. And again, if you mass list these, you would be able to sell that for 500. You'd take home 70 coins. If you just did that for 100 cards, you'd make seven grand um, profit. 
in an hour and that just builds your coin balance up then to start doing other methods and that basically you're doing all these minor methods to build up to special card trading then once you build up to special card trading you can do higher special cards and then eventually get to like icon tier and start trading them so i am going to list this guy up for 500 we'll just list him up for 500 we'll take them 70 coin profit the top five leagues you want to go on any and you want to work out like the bottom price so then say the bottom price for any is 500 you know if you set the filter to 400 anything you buy at 400 you're going to be making profit same with silver if you find out that the bottom threshold for silvers from germany is 600 set your filter to silver 500 anything you pick up you're making profit now i've waffled on so much if you're still here uh, for the end of the video i'm grateful hit the like button hit a subscribe if i've helped you in any way it is free nothing is free in this day and age and i will see you guys in the next video peace